when I think back uh, to Castle Heights, what I always remember is the fall of the year, uh, the uh, leaves changing color, football was in the air, it was a new year starting, uh, promotions were coming out, just a lot of promise. I can remember spending a lot of time in the library and it was just, it was just always such a beautiful building and I loved going in there and the sense of history and looking up at the stained glass ceiling. It was, a, you know, kind of a social place too. This was a community effort and that told me what people thought about Castle Heights. It was in their heart. Uh, for the most part, uh, I, uh, I wish I could do it over again. Uh, I, I loved it here. I had to do it, otherwise I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. But uh, going back to the times of heights, there would never be times like that, like the one we had. He had lived his life, I had lived my life, but we would never have time like those. And we really had good times. For me, it's personal. Uh, the legacy of Castle Heights taught me a love of learning. It taught me a work ethic. It taught me that being a person of integrity is the greatest compliment anyone can give you. And it also taught me about setting goals in life. Uh, it doesn't always come easy, but if you persevere, you can achieve great things. You know, in the Navy, in a, on a flight, on a mission, when I ran into the, this lieutenant who was a part of our crew, when I mentioned Lebanon, Tennessee, First thing he knew of, he come back with was Lebanon. Yeah, he said, uh, Castle Heights. I went to school there. No kidding, you know, so he knew more about Lebanon than I did. A Tennessee historical marker reminds us of the once prominent place that Castle Heights held in the state and the nation. And although the main entrance of today bears little resemblance to those of yesteryear, there are still a few pieces of our history that remain things that bear testament to proud days since past. But as I search for these scattered symbols, I'm reminded that progress more often than not has a way of erasing places and memories that were important. I was driving down Main Street going into work about 6.30 in the morning. I looked up the lane, the street to saw the main building, uh, and then it just brought back memories of what was here. And I, as I was driving through that, I, I don't know, I just overcome with emotion, I guess, and they're thinking of what we had in the past in this town. The landscape has changed. Buildings such as the auditorium and gymnasium are gone, as are five of the original eight buildings that made up Castle Heights School and Castle Heights Military Academy. Then we had the little guard house over at the junior, the junior building. And uh, the guardhouse was a place where you always met in between classes. So you would sit around the benches and if you weren't actually on guard, it was just a gathering place for people. Buildings disappear and footsteps will fade away, but the memories continue and must be preserved and passed on to future generations. Once I graduated from here, I never intended to ever come back. Um, the friends I made here have been my lifelong friends. Uh, we still keep in touch. The internet has really helped with that. And uh, I have not missed a reunion in 35 years. Because of uh, social media, I have become great friends with cadets from 71, 72, and, and I think that's what I love about it. And we've just gotten to be so very, very close. We came to Castle Heights from near and far, most of the states and several foreign countries. I got off the bus and I walked up the road to the main building, which is today the city hall, and Captain Bobby Todd came out to greet me. And with the closing of the school in 1986, all of us who marched these grounds as cadets now share a common bond an experience that began and grew on this campus. Big part of the legacy of Castle Heights was um, the knowledge and the experience that were uh, 
imparted upon us by our faculty. And I'll never forget um, our first drill session. I show up to our drill session and uh, Colonel Cameron in the junior school, who was really a sharp guy, had his hat pulled down right over his eyes, always had it perfectly aligned and everything in his uniform so sharp. I was terrified of that man. Uh, just because he's barking the orders and whatever. Uh, it turned out before I left here, he was one of my favorite people in my entire life. All of what went before from 1902 to 1986 has become our legacy, our Castle Heights legacy. As our numbers decrease from year to year, we must create an opportunity to pass on the Castle Heights legacy to those who do not remember the school. What existed must be preserved in order to educate those who did not share the Castle Heights experience. A repository must be created and maintained for future generations. The Castle Heights Military Academy Archives and Museum can and will serve that purpose and be that place. Here's where we were nurtured uh, day and night. We got up with the bugle, we went to bed with the bugle. Lebanon, Castle Heights, the hilltop is our second home. It's our home away from home. The Heights uh, made a man out of me and uh, the principles I got I learned in the Heights. My best dream, sir, of being young and being back here. Our stories, experiences, and accomplishments can be saved in order that others can see and understand what Castle Heights and its cadets, faculty, and administration stood for. This beautiful old building will be the place to preserve not only our memories, but the legacy of Castle Heights as well. There's a place in Tennessee I know on a hilltop where the wind gently blows Where Castle Heights stood guard day and night Until the guard grew old They boarded the windows and chain locked the doors Buildings standing proudly stood proudly no more. Now we come back on this hilltop underneath bright autumn skies. Together we share memories. So the memories of the hilltop never die Look around you my friends We're together again Though the years have come and gone In October we come home Home to Castle Heights on the hill Here's the reality. In 30 or 40 years, there's not gonna be alum, any alumni from Castle Heights left. So we, as a group, as an organization, we get to decide today whether we're gonna have a legacy for our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, if we're gonna leave a legacy for people that will come visit Lebanon, Tennessee for the next 200 years. Do we want what Castle Heights stands for and stood for? Do we want that message to carry on? Soon gather around the circle say a prayer for all our fallen friends and give thanks that the hilltop still lives now the circle comes full circle again windows have opened like no more Buildings stand proudly as they stood before And we stand proud and sing On our city's western border Reared against the sky Proudly stands high.
motto Conquer and prevail Hail to thee Our alma mater Castle High